Hi guys and welcome to the video, today I have Samsung Galaxy Note 4 with me and today we are going to install and review the Galaxy S8 and the Note 8 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. So I am going to split this video into two parts, so in the first part of this video we are going to take a short look on this ROM, how does it look like, what are the features, what are the bugs and so on, and in the second part of this video I am going to show you how to install this Galaxy Note 8 and the S8 ROM on your Samsung Galaxy Note 4, so now let's start with the review. So this ROM here is called the Astra Dream UX ROM, so um, it is themed to look like the Dream UX of the Galaxy S8 and the Note 8. So you can see that you get the Galaxy S8 wallpaper here, the Galaxy Note 8 and the S8 icons, and all of the apps are also updated or um, ported from the Galaxy S8 to look like the Galaxy S8 and the Note 8. You can see that the phone looks, the dialer app looks quite similar to the Galaxy S8. The settings app looks also quite similar here. So here on the left side I got a Galaxy S8 which runs on Android Oreo right now. And as you can see it looks um, really similar here. So let me adjust the brightness quickly. So you can see that there are almost no differences between these um, different phones here. The only difference is that here we have a search bar because this here is on Android Oreo and here you basically got a search um, label there. But I mean everything else seems really really similar here. You can see all the icons and all the categories are almost the same here. So this ROM here is based on um, Android Marshmallow, Android 6.0.1 but it's themed to look like the Galaxy uh, S8 and the Note 8, so it seems to look like the Dream UX, even though it's based on Marshmallow. So the base um, ROM here is the Galaxy A7 2017 edition, and um, the security patch is the September of 2017, so as you can see it's uh, not that outdated, and you can definitely use this ROM um, as your daily driver because the performance and all of that is also quite okay here. So this here is the lock screen of the ROM, so as you can see the lock screen uh, looks also quite similar to the Galaxy S8 lock screen here. So this is the Galaxy S8 which runs on Android Oreo. The only difference which we have is uh, the notification here, so the, not so the notifications uh, look a little bit different on the Galaxy um, Note 4 over here, but everything else seems to look really similar here, so you have the same shortcuts on both sides here, and the clock does also look really similar, just like the Sony layout. So if we unlock both phones, you can see that the home screen looks also really diff uh, really similar, um, just because we have the same launcher on both phones, so you can see that you can swipe up to get to the app drawer, so this ROM here uses the Galaxy S8 launcher here, and they look really, really similar, and um, all the options and all the features are almost the same here. So as you can see, we also got the edge panel on the ROM, and they look also quite similar to the edge panel of the Galaxy S8 here. Of course, they are not 100% uh, similar because this one here runs on Android Oreo, and Android Oreo has got a new edge panel um, from Samsung, so they won't look 100% similar, but um, I mean, it's nice to see that you have the edge features on a flat phone over here. And as I've said already, you will get all the Galaxy S8 apps on this ROM here, so um, the phone app looks 100% similar over here, the messaging app looks also really similar as you can see, um, what do we have next, the clock app looks also really really similar here, um, we get all the same features which is also really nice, of course you have some new features on this uh, Galaxy S8 here because this here runs on Android Oreo, but overall the features are um, quite similar and the design is also quite similar. The only big difference is in the camera, so here we have the Galaxy S8 camera here and this one here uses the Galaxy Note 8 camera and uh, unfortunately we can't get the Galaxy S8 camera on this ROM here because this here is running on Android Marshmallow while this one here is Android Oreo. Right, um, what do we have? Next, the browser is also the same as you can see here, you get the same um, browser, 
this new Galaxy browser which you can also download from the Play Store and yeah you also have Samsung Notes on board which is also nice to see and uh, yeah the Samsung Music app of the Galaxy Note 8 is also here and yeah you can also enable the edge panel for the Samsung Music and yeah but of course not everything is perfect in this ROM here, so there are some bugs here and there, but um, actually these bugs are not that important bugs, but now let's talk about them also. So as you can see we have the always on display here and it just disappeared as you can see here. So the always on display is not always on and this is a small bug which we also have on this ROM. The fingerprint scanner um, does not work too here, so if you go into settings and if you go into lock screen and security you can't set up your fingerprint as you can see it gives you an error over here so these are the two main bugs um, of this rom but everything else seems to be really stable so performance wise this rom is quite okay if you set the animations to 0.5 you will get a much better experience and yeah the battery life is also quite okay it's uh, even better than other Galaxy Note 7 ports I have uh, tested out so um, the battery life is also quite okay and you can definitely use this ROM as your daily driver if you are okay with these two bugs which I have mentioned already right so now let's start with the installation process so there are two things which you need to do before you start to install this ROM the first thing is to install TWRP so if you haven't installed TWRP already um, be sure to install it. There are a lot of videos on YouTube showing how to install TWRP on your Samsung Galaxy Note 4. The second thing which you need to do is to download the ROM, of course. You can download the ROM from the description of this video, just download it from XDA and then you are ready to go. So the first thing you need to do is to power off your device, so let's do that quickly. Then you need to press the volume up button, the home button and the power button at the same time when the device is turned off. Press three of them, press three of them at the same time. And then release these three buttons when you see this boot logo. So now we are in the TWRP recovery, so the first thing you need to do is to go to the Vibe option and perform a normal factory set. So if you do this you will basically lose all your apps and all your settings but your internal storage will still um, be there. So all your um, data which you have stored on your internal storage won't um, get deleted. Then go back, go to the install op option and locate your ROM. So the ROM must be in the external storage. So go to the uh, micro SD card here and press on this ROM here. So this is the ROM, just locate it, press on it and swipe to flash. So now we are in the Aroma installer, here you can choose your language, I would um, prefer to use English because um, I have also tried the German one and the German um, language is translated really really crappy. So select English, say next, say next again. Here I would prefer to say normal vibe, then say next. Here you can choose your emoji style, I will select the iOS emojis because I really hate the stock emojis and the S8 Oreo emojis. Um, so all emojis of Samsung are crap in my opinion, but um, yeah. Then press next. Here you can select your camera, so you can use the Galaxy Note 4 camera or the Galaxy Note 7 camera as I've mentioned already. You can't get the Galaxy S8 or Note 8 camera because this here is based on um, on Marshmallow and yeah then press next again here you can select your D, uh, CST I will select the one of Germany here and then say next again here you can enable some sound mods I will leave it as it is after you're done with that press next again and choose your routing method and your kernel I will also leave it as it is press next again and again to install this ROM. So this process could take like two or three minutes, you just need to wait until the ROM is installed.
So the installation process is finished now. Now you can say next and say reboot to the system and now your phone will basically reboot to your new ROM. You just need to wait until your phone boots up. And yeah, so this was basically my um, video about, Gal about the Galaxy S8 and the Note 8 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a dislike as always and peace out.